that's what I like about your father. I mean, he is who he is. And when he says something, I believe it. Except when he invites you to a baby shower. Actually, that was my idea. I'm a big fan of lying. It makes things so much easier. <laughs> I thought we were buying me a new tennis outfit. Oh, no, we, we are. We are. I just, you know, really need to use the restroom. In a museum. It costs $15 to get in here. Well, that's because you wouldn't let me tell him you're a senior. <laughs> okay, uh, why don't you... Now go look at the pictures. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mitch? No. <laughs> what? Mom, what are you doing here? What? Judy had to use the bathroom. I thought you were getting a haircut. I was. I, I am. I had to come here and make a sketch of that guy so I could show my stylist uh, the, the style I wanted. You want to look like a guy getting beaten by soldiers in Chechnya? <laughs> it's my tribute to him. Mitch. Uh, Mom, let's go find Jody. Did you see this? Oh. You. And you. You and you! Him and her, but not me. Me and you. <laughs> Suzanne, this is an awful, awful moment. Is it talking to me? Is it really talking to me? I think we should... Oh, my God! Now the other thing is making noise! <laughs> well, okay, this was my scary thing for today. See ya. <laughs> oh, look at her. I should have just punched her right in the baby. <laughs> I don't believe you. You don't care who you hurt, do you? Oh, what? You get to hang out with Dad's girlfriend and Mom doesn't have the right to know? Mom. I'm really sorry. I will never forgive you for this. Well, who knew a museum could be this much fun? <laughs> hey, there she is. I thought I'd make us breakfast before the big tournament. What do you want on your omelet? Your cold, unfeeling heart and some cheese. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. Look, I I'll, I'll never see her again. I had plans with Shelly to go see the new Vim Vendors film, but I called and canceled. First of all, you made that name up. Secondly, <laughs> you couldn't begin to make this up to me. Mom, are you sure you're not just as long as a tiny bit out of proportion. Well, let's see. Was it Shelley who nursed you through chicken pox or sat through your violin recitals or hung your god-awful art on the refrigerator? You said you love my drawings. I also said I knew what they were. I didn't know what they were. And if I hung them right side up, it was an accident. <laughs> Good morning. Well, there's my new tennis partner. Don't you look handsome. Uh. Ooh, give me a hug. <laughs> so you ready to go win that tennis tournament? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, Mitch, I didn't see you there. You're her new partner? Well, it looks like you got what you wanted. Well, Jody was the athletic one in the family. So big and strong. Make a muscle, Jody. Oh, just like Arnold Schwarzenegger and the strong Arnold when he was still on steroids. <laughs> Hey, Mitch. Come on in. Hey, Dad. Uh, actually, I'm looking for Shelly. Is this a bad time? Because I can come... No, 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 no! Shelly! Tantric sex, hour number three. <clears throat> Painful. <laughs> now I know how Sting got his name. Hi, Mitch. Mitch wants to talk to you. Why don't you have a tantric talk? Two, three hours, whatever it takes. I need an aspirin. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you I'm not playing in that tournament with my mom anymore, so maybe we can go see that Vim Vendor film this afternoon. Why aren't you playing in the tournament? I hope this doesn't have anything to do with me. No. No, this is all about my mother spinning out of control. Oh, Mitch. Come here, sit down. My parents split up when I was seven. 
Two years later, my class put on Alice in Wonderland and I was a mushroom. My stepmother made me a costume. It looked exactly like a mushroom. My mother made me a costume. It looked exactly like a penis. So which one did you wear? For two years, the kids called me Phallus in Wonderland. <laughs> it was hell. But I wrote it out because I knew that that's what my mom needed. She'd already lost my dad. I couldn't make her feel as if she lost me too. I get it. Thanks. <laughs> I guess I should go to the tournament. Let me know how it goes. What the hell are you talking about? Your parents didn't divorce till you were 30. I know. I have got to stop lying. <laughs> Move your feet, Jody. Move! Just be better than Mitch. Just be better than Mitch. Come up to the net. The net. It's that thing you keep hitting your ball into. <laughs> Get yourself together, for God's sakes. Oh, get yourself together, for God's sakes. <laughs> so how are you holding up, Jode? A lot of pressure being the favorite. It's all on you. I'm fine. Really? You don't look so good. How would you like a nice, runny fried egg? Would that fix you up? Stop. Well, maybe a cold, greasy pork chop slathered in mayonnaise. <laughs> That's right. Let it out. What are you doing here? Jody got sick. That's what I get for pampering him. <laughs> I'm here to play. I'd rather forfeit. Fine. Let them say you're lost to that dad. Let them whisper behind your back again that since he left, you've fallen apart. Okay. Let's play. But just don't call me mom. <laughs> this counts! <laughs> oh, sorry. Guess I'm a little off. <laughs> Look, Mom, I know that, that you think I'm a traitor. Not dirty. Just because I spent time with Shelly doesn't mean that you're losing me. Time. You lied to me. You went behind my back with that woman, and when your father did that, I lost him forever. More time. <laughs> you're never going to lose me. This is us. It used to be. Oh, come on. You understand me in a way that no one else does. Let's just forget it. Let's just finish the match. No, listen to me. There are things that I could never imagine myself telling anyone else in this family but you. Lock 30! I'm gay. What? I'm gay. I think I'm gonna be sick. No, you're not. You're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I can't believe I said it out loud. I'm glad you did. Does your father know? I only told you. <laughs> <laughs>